Well, good morning. This morning, our scripture is found in Luke chapter 15, beginning in verse 4, and it goes like this. What man of you, having a hundred sheep, if he lose one of them, doth not leave the ninety and nine in the wilderness and go after that which is lost until he find it. Yesterday, while driving uh, home from Houston, uh, I had our radio tuned into a, a country station, and I heard a song I'd never heard before. Uh, it's called The Lost and Found. You see, many years ago, uh, I used to play and sing in bars and nightclubs and things like that. And uh, I got to see a lot of folks in a lot of different situations, just, just exactly like this song pointed out. You see, in, in a bar or a nightclub, the lights are turned off. You just have neon signs on the wall. But you can come in, and I don't care if you are uh, just got off of a drilling rig and you've got mud and grease from head to toe, you're welcomed. In fact, they're excited to see you. And they will, they'll come meet you at the door sometimes and just, just visit with you. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, they will. And, uh, you know, we, uh, Christians have our churches that's, oh, they're nice churches. My goodness. We got carpeted floors. We've got padded seats and if someone come in off of a drilling rig or an old greasy mechanic, someone would stop him before he got into the sanctuary, probably, and have him to sit on the back, and they'd probably bring out newspapers for him to sit on. That's the way we treat people in our churches. But you see, when we have people coming into our churches, regardless of how they're dressed, regardless of how nasty, filthy, stinky, dirty they are, they're still a child of God, God's creation. We need to get off of this persona. We have to be dressed up in a new $500 suit, $200 silk necktie, or one of these uh, designer dresses for the ladies. No, 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 no. We're supposed to be finding and helping the lost sheep. Do you think <laughs> that a lost sheep that was all nasty and dirty would be welcome in your church today? I would certainly encourage you, if they're not welcome because of the nice carpet, all the padded pews, I'd go in and rip out the carpet and rip the padding off the pews if you're afraid it's going to get soiled from someone that might enter into your church. I hope and pray this touches someone out there this morning. We're supposed to be out searching for that lost sheep and bring them back to the fold. We don't clean them before we get them back to the fold. No, that's not your job. That's not my job. That's the Lord's job. So go out and search for the lost sheep and bring them back to the fold. May God richly bless you. I love you, but better yet, Jesus loves you.
He died on the cross for you and I, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.